getting ready to go to Pan American Championships. Haley Riker and I are gonna be flying out of Newark direct to Santo Domingo. I'm gonna show you the best way to eat on the road. And we're gonna start right now. When you're getting ready to travel, you're traveling all over the place, you're gonna to go to the airport, is to prepare that day of and know what exactly you're gonna be eating when you get to the airport, when you're flying, when you get to the hotel, all that, so they have that first day in place. My wife packed me a sandwich, so I'm actually not gonna eat anything this morning until I get through security at uh, Newark Airport, and then after that, I'm gonna have my sandwich. I'm gonna wait about two hours until we're flying about halfway there, and then I'm gonna eat again when I get on to the, when we're on the airplane, so. That's the first step for eating on the road. So Newark's got pretty good food. I've always felt like they've got some of the best food in the entire world for uh, for airports. Pretty empty too, COVID, clearing people out. But now we are going to get something to eat and go to the bathroom and then start boarding. Okay, so we're here at breakfast, papaya juice. So when we're talking about going out on a limb and trying different foods and eating healthy while you're traveling, papaya with watermelon, yotia. So yotia is American taro or what else was it? It was a white elephant ear. It's like a arrow leaf. So it's a unique starchy vegetable that I have never had. So I'm going out on a limb and having that. And of course, I'm going really out on a limb and I'm having an egg omelet with uh, peppers, onions. Haley's going really out on an omelet or going out on a limb getting a hard boiled eggs and bananas. So I'm gonna try this yotia. The papaya juice is awesome. Still waiting for my coffee. But I think one of those things when you're traveling is to experiment. I've never had yotia. I'm sure it probably tastes like potatoes to a point. A little crumbly, slightly. It's like a, it's like a sweeter, it's like a sweeter potato, but not a sweet potato, just a sweeter potato. So, try new foods, enjoy them, stay healthy while you're traveling. Okay, round two. I really like that yotia a lot. And now I've got uh, mashed pureed plantain with onions and some chicken. The plantains are amazing. Almost like a potato meets a banana with, uh, we got chicken and some peppers and onions. So I feel like some cultures just get really creative with, with breakfast. We do a good job too, but. Plantains and yotia are amazing. So these refried beans are actually good, but they're a slightly different refried bean. Maybe like a little more spice in there. This one is some type of chicken. It's not chicken mole. It's like chicken mole meets slight bar barbecue. They're it's, it's like chicken mole meats, slight barbecue. This just looks like a standard tortilla. This stuff here. Is ridiculously good. Probably not the healthiest, but I bet you I'm having 200 grams of protein in this meal and probably 500 grams of carbs. 
and quite a bit of husky fat too. Okay, I'm back for another installment of this meal. And this has that, that cream in it, right? So, I didn't know what the cream was. But what it has is a little bit of like a hot pepper, but not that hot. With a whole bunch of lime, a ton of lime. And this is why everybody should be eating other people's foods, other cultures' food. Because now when I get home, I'm putting a ton of lime juice in my sour cream when I'm making my tacos. It's stupid good. de pollo. It's like potato salad with super crispy chicken with a little bit of seasoning on it and then plantains and some ketchup. And that's where the chicken's like from one of the chickens that's walking around in the backyard. Right over there. For those of you that know me really well, you know one of my favorite snacks is plantains. So I also ordered chicken and rice. It's like a deep fried chicken with a spice and a whole bunch of rice. That's really good. It might be deep fried, but it's still chicken. Still good rice. All right, so when you're traveling all over the place and you want to eat well, the best thing that you can do is one, prepare. Two, try other countries' food. Three, make sure you pack decent supplements and, and you're willing to try, again, you're, you're willing to try other people's food because that's a real big, important factor. And always know that the most important thing is there's gonna be some good food when you come home like Pennsylvania Dutch ring bologna and cheese and mustard. And so no matter what, you're always gonna be able to eat that back home food when everything's said and done. Peace. Peace.